I said, you know, there are certain things we as parents, and there are certain things that, and, and please understand, we as parents, we can do all that we know to do and have the ability and capability and pray. Right. And still, some of our children are delinquent. So this is not, you know, the first thing as parents is when things happen, we blame ourselves. Amen, amen. But I, I just want to read a couple of scriptures out of Deuteronomy chapter 6. Uh -huh. It was read earlier in this service today. Hang with me. We're, we're, we're going to talk a little bit about this thing. Amen. In Deuteronomy chapter 6, Verse 4, the Bible says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Our God and the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, and with all of your strength. And these words which I command you today shall be in your heart. You shall teach them, somebody say teach. Teach, teach them diligently to your children. And shall talk of them when you sit in your house, amen, amen. when you walk by the way, yeah. when you lie down, and when you rise up, amen. you shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. Amen, amen. You shall write them on the doorpost of your house mm -hmm. and on your gates. Amen. I, uh, in doing the baby dedication, one of the things I mentioned that the home should be a security center. Amen. Amen. Meaning that in every young or every child, there are certain basic inner needs right. must be met Amen. in young people. Amen. The way in which these are denied or fulfilled will largely determine personhood and behavior. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now these basic psychological or spiritual needs are the need, the home should be a place where the need for love and security takes place. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You know, we got this thing we, we, we're just all out of control when it comes to the family and the home. Mm -hmm. yes. And we, the church and believers, we need to get this thing right. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's never too late. Never. Somebody say, well, Pastor, it's all out of control. The family, we can't even define what a family is. That's how much it's out of control. So what, what can we do now? Well, it's never too late, amen, to change and base our rearing of our children and our family and treating one another upon biblical principles. Amen. Amen. Well, I know some of you may say, well, that's old-fashioned. But the home is a need for love and security. Amen. 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 It, it's for one to feel significant. That's right. Screw the world out here. Yes, and, you know, at least at home, amen, you are somebody. Amen. amen. The need for a sense of adequacy and worthiness. Yes. You see, it's, that's the reason that if your home is that way, the kids and people cannot, amen, wait to get home. No matter where they are. Because it's a, it gives you a sense of inadequacy and worthiness. At home, we need to belong and to be part of a group. And the family teaches us that. Amen. Then at home uh, should be a place that a need for self-expression mm -hmm. and self-determination. Yes. I don't know if this young lady, amen, was her home was this way or not. I don't know if she could express her feelings at home or not. Mine. Maybe she had to keep them in. Mine. The home should be a need to express and have new experiences. Amen. 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 The home, amen, we're talking about a security center. It's the need to have value 
define, values define, something to make life and the universe make sense. When everything else is going crazy out there, amen, home is the place, amen, that really, people really make sense. Yes. Now, some of you sitting there are looking at me like, well, that's just the option. Supposedly. You know, that's just the option, man. I'm ready to leave home. I'm ready to get out of the premises. I'm ready to get out. But, brothers and sisters, it should not be that way. As we look at these inner needs, it reveals that they are in the integrated and overlapping in their driving force. This means that where there is a strong home relationship of love and security, these needs can find healthy fulfillment. Amen. However, when the home fails to function as a security center and parents demand too much, Restrict too much, manipulate too much, deny fellowship and companionship, and starve out amen, the spontaneous expression of love. There are complexities of anger and rebellion and mistrust, and open hostility is the result. You hear what I'm saying? It is the result. You see, society in general, it has its role to fulfill and meeting our young people's need, and when it fails, the home usually can compensate. Amen. Hallelujah. I hear you. I don't hear too many amen. 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 When the home fails, what I'm trying to say, yes. society is seldom able to reimburse yes. the young person for its loss. Amen. If you, if, 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 if there's failure in the home, do not even think that society is going to bail that person out. No. Not in the day of society. So what I'm trying to say to you, that the beginning of wholesome, amen, young people and youth adjustment begins in the home that functions as a security center. A place of refuge where needs can be met. A place where there's love and laughter. A place where meals are cooked and on time. All right, now. Uh -oh. <laughs> a place where there is acceptance yes. and sharing. Amen, amen. A place where there is a strong hand of a father and a loving caress of a mother. Amen. A place where there is discipline yes. and endearment. A place where there is communication and conversation. Amen. Amen. Talk about you're going to think about this later. Mm. Amen. In fact, if you want to lose this later, I'll mail you a copy. <laughs> Amen. Of this lesson today. And not only, not only should the home be a security center, but it should be a training center. Amen. Now you're really going to look at this training now. You're going to get mad at me. Oh. The very first process of the weathering takes place in the home. Amen. The example set by parents is automatically carried over into the life of the child. Because of this, the home must become a training center. In other words, the meaning of respect and reverence must be learned. If parents are not respected, then other adults will not be That's right. amen, respected. Amen, amen, amen. If your child doesn't expect you as a parent at home, what makes you think they learn respect anybody in the school? Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Or whatever they find themselves doing is not going to happen. You see, if nothing is held sacred and God is not honored, then church going and worshipful reverence will be null and void. Did you hear what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And you can go to church all you want to. Yeah. But if you don't have your home in order, yeah. 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 null and void. I know that's tough.
in their attitude toward God yes. mm -hmm. and other adults. Mm -hmm. Now, home is where significance of manners and courtesy is to be learned. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You know, we have a lot of young people and people have resumes and they go out for interviews but they have no manners or courtesy. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. It's all the eating uh -oh, is done in front of the television. If that's the case, how in the world are they going to learn any table editors? Now you can quite well say amen. Amen. The world 